got to decide your own future. I'm looking to make some changes, help other people. I'm active, baby. I'm active. What are you doing? Knock, knock, baby. Back in your face. Another one. So as you remember from the last time, right, this particular house, it was gutted, right? You know what gutted means? It was a shell. You know what a shell means? There's nothing there. You know what nothing there means? We had a lot to do. So right now we got sheetrock up, insulations in, electric's been run. We got hi-hats in, right, your recess lighting, cans, right, add more light, more brightness. We're on our first coat of spackle today. So basically, we'll be spackling for the next two days, let it dry, spackle again, let it dry, spackle a third time. So you'll see we have all new windows in the house. We're gonna pop all new flooring in. We have all new sheetrock, new exterior door. All of our electrical is new. You can tell this is gonna be the kitchen here, right? Right now it's not much, it's not much here. It's going to be a kitchen. So the fridge is gonna be in the corner and the kitchen's gonna run this way with the sink here. Being that the sink is here, my assumption is the stove is going to be behind you here. Only because this little wire would be for the microwave that goes on top of the stove. Let's keep going. So if you look into the first bedroom, got the spackle happening, right? This is the first coat of spackle, right? First or second? This is the second coat. Second coat of spackle. How many coats you throwing on here? We do three coats. Three, I want those. it perfect, perfect. Brand new bathroom. Hit the shower with the cement board, then you put your tile on top of that. So this is the area that's gonna be tiled. Toilet, sink. This is where your light and your, um, your fan's gonna be here. I'm gonna tie in a fan there for all your moisture to get sucked out of the bathroom. That way you never have any mold issues. Largest of the three bedrooms. So some of you guys would call it a master, but it's the biggest bedroom. So call it a master, get fancy with it. This bedroom also has um, overhead lighting. Remember we told you guys before, it sucks when you sell someone a house and it doesn't have overhead lighting. Sometimes you have to plug in those little lamps, the little halogen lamps that um, we really don't like to do. Outlets throughout the whole house, outlets to code. We have, if you see the window, once again, as always, we have a permit. Permits in the window. Permit keeps everybody away. Building permit for us to do the work we need to do. Now let's shoot down to the basement and see what we got. Got some wet spackle right here. <sighs> basement. As you can see, the sheetrock down here looks considerably different than the sheetrock that was upstairs. This sheetrock is green, right? Green, extra moisture protection. It's called green board. What it does is, like I said, prevents the moisture. It's an extra moisture barrier. So you don't have the mold situation. You don't have mold issues. It's, um, it's the right way to do a basement. We're gonna take this floor and vinyl floor this whole entire basement. No carpet in basements, no laminate in basements because laminate is wood, wood will warp. Vinyl, laundry hookup, right? Basement, wide open, no bedrooms, just a wide open basement. This, you call this a den area, a play area. You can make it a workshop. You can make it a basement of secrets. You can make it whatever you wanna make, right? So the basement's gonna be wide open, no walls. Got a brand new boiler, right? This house is oil, sometimes you got gas. Oil furnace we have here in this house. We have a water tank, hot water tank. This is an egress window. Legally, the only way to legalize a basement is to have this window in your house. This is an egress window. What it allows is allows, in case of a fire or any emergency, this casement window, you wind it, you open it up, a body can fit actually out of it. I'm gonna show you how I can get out of this window because it's an egress window. Oh my God, fire, we gotta go. Crank, 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 right? Even, even as big as I am. Couple cranks. House is on fire and I'm out, okay? Legal basement, egress window. Think about it. Like I said, recessed lighting, they're still taping. First stage, stage of spackle, second stage of spackle, green board, outlets, vinyl floors coming in. Finished basement, legal, done the right way, just doing the right thing all day. That's what we do, all day, we do the right thing, all day. So this one, we're about permits and everything. I think it's like a fifth weekend, only because the lag time when you put your permits, 
we got another three to four weeks left. So another month, it'll be done, ready, ready to hit the market. New homeowner, creating somebody's dream. <laughs> Once upon a time, about a week ago, there was a tree here. The tree was 40 feet or so tall. Storm came through, windstorm, hurricane-ish speeds of wind. Lots of trees toppled in the area. This particular one fell, but that way. Yes, we had to play to get it chopped down. We have to pay for a new fence. We have to ingratiate ourselves with the neighbor and make sure that they're okay, we're okay, everybody's cool. It could have easily blew in the other direction and fell on our house, or it could have flew in that direction and fell on their house by the grace of God, neither of those things happened. So we just have a down tree. It could have been really bad, a lot worse, but these are some of the risks that you take on as you're buying these homes, you're renovating them, you're fixing them. You never know what can happen. Another one, renovation, full gut, balls to wall, tree falling issues, full renovation, done the right way with permits. In the heat, I'm hot as I don't know what, but guess what, I'm working. Get off your ass. What are you doing? What are you doing? 